I conducted uh, that funeral and um, at that time I was with him and uh, he was uh, he was really he felt a tremendous sense of loss because he depended on Pat she was a very strong woman and uh, she never did uh, leave him or uh, turn her back on him and any of the controversial things he was involved in she stuck with him and he leaned on her and depended on her again I say the the sorrow and the best wishes of the American people are with President Nixon's family. We thank them and our prayers are with them. I thought he was wonderful for the country. I thought he did a magnificent job as a president. He just blew it on Watergate. I think Richard Nixon is one of the greatest presidents that we ever had. Uh, IQ Weiss is the second highest IQ, Thomas Jefferson being first, the brilliant president. Did a lot in foreign affairs, and he'll go down in history as a great man. I think that uh, he maybe was trying too hard to do what he wanted to do, and uh, maybe stepped over some boundaries he shouldn't have. But uh, he's done a lot to make up for it, I think. I think history will be kinder to Richard Nixon than possibly present-day politicians and uh, biographers are or have been. I think Watergate uh, will be looked on as a small blip. The career of Richard Nixon, uh, the tremendous leadership that he gave not only to your country but to the free world uh, in, in time of need, I think will be looked on uh, with great kindness uh, in the future. It was kind of a uh, the end of an era. And, you know, I came mainly because, you know, in, during my lifetime, I feel like he's been the greatest American, you know, during that time. Watergate will be remembered. It was part of our administration. Uh, it was part of my political life, a very unfortunate part. And I have covered it at great length uh, in my books and in my speeches and so forth. But I think 17 years of Watergate is enough. I think now we should look to the future. And I think in that case, what I have to say in the future, what I have said in the past, about a new relationship with the Soviet Union, a new relationship with China. Right after, right after the war, Persian Gulf War. Uh, there was euphoria. We thought, now we have a new world. We're not going to have any aggressors because we have paid them off in this case and we have deterred them. And uh, with the collapse of communism in the Soviet Union, uh, we're going to have a, an entirely a new world there as well. But the more things change, the more they remain the same insofar as stability is concerned. Mm -hmm. The hopes for peace the hopes for progress, the hopes for freedom are infinitely greater than they were before these recent developments. But on the other hand, we have to realize that we're moving into uncharted waters, that we have instability around the world. What we have to do is to seize the moment to be sure that the, this unstable situation uh, does not result in a chaos and eventually an armed uh, uh, conflicts. Uh, that can be done. Let us always make sure for the young Americans that the road ahead is never blocked by prejudice or ignorance or poverty and that he or she can go as hard as his or her talents will take them. That is the goal we want for young Americans today. And because there are so many young people here today, May I add a word to you? I believe in the American dream because I have seen it come true.
in my own life. And I want you to know that as far as you're concerned, I want your dreams to come true as well. How do you want to be remembered? I would say that uh, my goal at this late stage in my life is to be remembered as one who made a difference, particularly in the areas in which I've been primarily interested, the areas of foreign policy, peace, freedom, free markets, democracy around the world, made a difference in moving the world a bit, and the United States, of course, in that direction. Because what helps the rest of the world helps us. He was, to me, quite a man. He was an elder statesman, and he did a lot for the country. I know he had a bad deal, too, but I really, he did a lot for this country. People won't know in for years how much he has done for us. That was very sad, and I'm surprised. I'm so young, I wasn't really aware of what was going on during his presidency. But I do remember my parents voting for him and him being one of the first that I can recall growing up. And I, I really don't know why I felt so sad. There were so many people out there that absolutely adored him. And you know what the shame of it is, is he didn't know it. He absolutely didn't know it. He was, um, he was in a shell. He really felt that to go out his front door, rather than the people, knowing that people adored him, he really was looking over his shoulder for the person to say something. History will show that in character and in, in integrity and in the type of political openness that um, Nixon pre presented for our country, the type of doors that he opened for us overseas with China, that history would be far, far kinder if we would remember him for those accomplishments, unlike our current president. I remember him through Watergate, and I also remember that because I'm Chinese, he was really grateful for foreign policy, and my grandmother really loved him, just thought he was the greatest. That was just a gem that he went through Watergate. My view changed drastically last June uh, at the passing of his wife, and seeing him almost in tears about broke my heart, and um, just really showed a human side of him that I'll always remember now as the main thing in his life. The Watergate deal? That should be passed. I don't think the media should ever key on it again. Richard Nixon and hundreds of thousands of lives in Vietnam were saved because of him, and mine is one of them. It's a, it's a sad time, yet a happy time. He led a very full life. Um, 81 years is a long time. Uh, I certainly send my condolences to the family. Uh, you know, like I say, I, I think our country is a better place because of, of President Nixon. Growing up in the, in the 70s, um, in a Republican family, uh, he was the apple of my father's eye until Watergate, basically, but he will be missed and he was a good president. Oh